What would happen if you had car trouble and you thought you wouldn't be able to make it to a wrestling event? Do you have a personal story or know it happened to someone else? I always made it. Yeah. Yeah. Now I've had to take a ride from a policeman one time that, that drove me there. Wow. That was quite the exciting trip of 100 miles an hour. Holy shit. Oh, yeah. This guy gunned it, man. So you were running way behind and you said, like, hey, dude, I got to get to this building. Yep. Did he recognize you? Yep. Okay. Was it, what was the exchange? Like autographs? Oh, yeah, man. He, he watched the show and I hooked him up and he gave me a ride back to my car. All right. Now, were you in the back of the police car? No. Okay. Well, that's, that's a good thing. That's, that seems like it would be very uncomfortable. Yeah, it would be. <laughs> Um, so, Jake, I once heard a story about you making a trip with Kevin Nash and Mick Foley and the car running out of gas. Does that ring a bell? It didn't run out of gas. The uh, the uh, alternator went out. Oh, shit. And uh, Foley wasn't with me. It was DDP. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just took off walking. <laughs> I came oh. back an hour and a half later with some country boys. So you like out in the middle of nowhere, if I remember right, and you're just like, well, there's got to be something somewhere, and you just start walking. Started walking, man. <laughs> Pretty resourceful, man. And then you find some dudes who are willing to come help. Two o'clock in the morning, man, and I seen lights, and I just went to the lights, you know. And there's a bunch of guys in a garage drinking beer. So I walked in, started drinking beer with them. We had about three beers and told them where I, what had happened. They said, let's go get that car for you. <laughs> Hell, we got it. We got a wrecker. <laughs> you know, the craziest part of all that is the idea that these guys are up at two in the morning having beers and all of a sudden out of the fucking darkness, Jake the Snake Roberts just yeah. walks, walks into their garage. <laughs> Be like, holy shit, okay, let's give this guy a beer. That fired him up. That was funnier than shit, brother. <laughs> I was sitting in the wrecker with one other guy and the driver. So every, we're crushed in the front seat. So we go back to pick DDP and him up. So we hook the wrecker up to it. And they got to sit in that wreck, you know, in the car that doesn't run while we drag them down the highway. <laughs> <laughs> Which is pretty scary. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, probably almost as scary as you having to be at six foot five, jam packed in between a couple of hillbillies. It was scary there. <laughs> Man, uh, only in professional wrestling does shit like that happen. Yeah. <laughs>